Welcome back. Uh, we're still uh, watching uh, hot commodities right here on ET Now. Let's uh, put the spotlight on the local currency then, uh, the rupee dollar pair, the Indian rupee mirroring the domestic equities ended the day on a very flat note after a very choppy session. Month end dollar demand from oil importers also continued to weigh on the currency that shut shop uh, marginally higher at 61.85 to the dollar today. Vijay of course is uh, with us but uh, Abhishek Goenka, founder and CEO of India Forex also joins us on the show. Uh, Abhishek, good evening. Thanks a lot for joining us. Uh, are you observing last week, 10 days, that the rupees seem to be gravitating towards the 62 to the dollar mark? Uh, and uh, what what do you really see, uh, you know, uh, in the near term, what's your outlook on this uh, rupee dollar pair? Yeah, if you look at the rupee per se, you know, uh, what a trend you can see is that, you know, every good news in the market is kind of priced in, in the current uh, markets. So it could be all the good economic numbers, a stable government and, you know, uh, so now the market is feeling that, you know, they want something new. I was talking to people in the industry associations and everything, you know, people are not very happy. They're saying that, you know, uh, we are not seeing things moving in the ground. And if uh, the same thing is what the investors are also watching, though we have seen close to $40 billion worth of money coming into India and debt and equity, you know, but investors are also very keenly watching. So if we do not see action coming in in a couple of months' time, then I think there could be some correction happening on the equities and the rupee could depreciate. Along with that, important point to note is that the dollar index is close to 8 to 9 percent strong over the last three to four months, whereas the rupee has hardly depreciated by around 1.25%. One, one, so there's a good room to depreciate over their side also. So we personally feel and what, that's what uh, we're, getting, we're getting a feeling from the charts also, there's a huge consolidation between 61.5 to 62 levels. And most likely if the market breaks 62, 62, 20 levels, possibly the rupee could depreciate by a couple of percentage points. So we would uh, stick our neck out and say that possibly would favor for more depreciation in the rupee rather than move below 61 levels. Abhishek, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I would like to talk to you about the factors also which are playing. You said that a lot of positives are already in the price. Uh, we are, you know, almost going into December now. This is that time of the year when FIR flows also, at least the portfolio flows, start slowing down because of the vacation season in Europe and US. Do you think that also absence of fresh flows also one of the reason that we may actually be trading slightly weakish uh, over the next couple of weeks? You know, uh, we did this interesting observation, you know. Uh, actually, if you look at uh, the last nine years, or I would say the last 11 years, out of that 11 years, the, uh, you know, the maximum outflow, the maximum rupee depreciation actually happened in November. You know, out of 11 years, 8 years rupee depreciated in November instead of December. In fact, a rupee actually appreciates in uh, December. So now that's something that's tracking flat, which I'm sharing with your channel, that we have facts to support it. The maximum depreciation that we have seen is in the months of uh, May, August and November, when it comes to rupee, that's over the last 11 years data. So 8 years out of 11 years rupee actually depreciates in November. So I would say that more depreciation possibilities in November rather than December. That's interesting, but let's talk about uh, the levels to watch out for. Uh, Vijay, uh, you know, Abhishek was saying that once if 62 is given up, then probably there could be a sudden bout of uh, weakness setting in. Uh, what are your uh, charts telling you and what's your view? Ajay, I have been uh, advocated uh, something on similar lines um, and I will uh, stick to the December month futures and the currency derivative segment on the NSE because um, uh, the futures tend to trade at a premium to the spot market. If at all you see December futures trading above uh, the 62.30 to 62.40 kind of a bank, I think the USD INR bulls will come back with a vengeance. The immediate upside potential for the USD INR in that case in the December month futures will be 62.75 to maybe 62.90 range. And then uh, uh, slowly but surely there will be a higher bottom and higher top uh, kind of a formation in place where the rupee will start to yield ground to the uh, uh, US dollar. So I would seek buy opportunities on declines in the de December month futures here. Yeah. And Vijay, the other uh, more uh, closely tracked and actively traded pair which is dollar euro, what are your levels there? 
Ajay, where the uh, euro INR is concerned, uh, it does seem to be in a state of flux where uh, uh, volumes and uh, open interest are now uh, showing signs of sluggishness. So unless the euro INR uh, goes up by at least 80 paise to a rupee, I uh, would not want to go long on the euro INR at this point in time. My focus is A on the USD INR, B on the JPY INR. If I was to get December futures of JPY INR at close to 52, I would not really mind doing some bargain hunting there. Abhishek, come in on that point, JPY INR, uh, you know, the, uh, since, uh, 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 you know, the, the Premier, the Japanese Premier has announced a fresh bout of liquidity uh, if needed in the Japanese economy, there has been some amount of volatility as far as uh, the yen goes, which is, uh, you know, strengthening quite a lot. What kind of trading opportunity do you see there? See, uh, what I personally feel is that, of course, you know, uh, in the major currencies, what works the best is the monetary policies. So if you talk about Euro, uh, um, GBP or Yen or the US, it's very, very clear if they are having a uh, printing policy for Euro and Japan, ultimately these currencies are typically going to weaken. Now we have already seen a lot of weakness happening in the, the Japanese Yen and it's famous for the weakness, you know, famous for volatility. So I personally feel there is a possibility that we could see some corrections since a lot of uh, uh, bad news is already being priced in in the Japanese yen. So it could come back to close to around 114, 115 levels vis-a-vis -vis the dollar. But then again, I think the move towards a 120 is much possible in the Japanese yen. All right, Abhishek, uh, we'll let you go on that one. Uh, in fact, uh, Vijay, and we'll let you go as well because we are completely running out of uh, time on this edition of Hot Commodities. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show.